Hello guys, it's Lucas here and what I have for you today, it's the new NPR camera 415 series. It's the short range version and that will allow you to pick it up the reg plate, usually at the gate, barrier, uh, entrance to the car park, maybe a petrol station. Um, so the detection zone, the detection distance, it's up to like six meters three to, to six meters and um, so they'll pick it up the reds with perfectly fine so it need to be careful where uh, you're going to use these cameras so i wouldn't go mad and try to shoot down and see you know car cars coming in from like 20 meters away it's not going to work and um, you need to have the proper lenses on the camera to do that um for a short enough for the longer range you will need to have pick up a different camera with the different lenses of course there's a built-in uh, lenses with the motorized lenses uh, and autofocus um, that camera of course would be powered up of the poe 12 volts dc or 24 ac uh, also you see there's um, audio input and output some alarm inputs and outputs as well for your gate controller as well as there's the rs 5 output um, we, where you can use that with the weekend converter. So the RS-485 will go to the weekend and the weekend will go to your access control uh, controller. So you can actually manage the database from the access control and use these as just a simple readers kind of, and just like almost like a fob reader, but reading the reg plates. Uh, so it's really, really piece of the equipment that uh, I really like and I've uh, been using on a databases almost uh, so many different sites we use them already um, so um, this type of the camera obviously is going to allow you to pick up the reg plate and if your reg plate is in a database either directly on the head of the in the head of the camera or in the database of your recorder or in the database of your uh, dss software either the the car park management the dss express or in the pro version uh, you can manage those databases to tell the camera to open or close the gate. Um, so it's really, really a uh, great, great piece of equipment. So let me show you actually the differences between the short range and the long range and how you're not supposed to set up the short range. Uh, so let me show you in the web browser now. All right. Okay, guys. So we are logged into our cameras and our recorder and just via the web browser. In our camera, you can see um, that we are picking up the reg plates. So the best thing to do um, is just to see what kind of configuration we have here. So when we configure such a camera, you see there is our zone of interest. This is where we want to pick up that reg plate. And this is the exact spot. So you see, I can manually adjust where the each corner of that zone is going to be. And this is my zone of interest. So ideally when you go to the wizard there i just want to have uh, the reg plate like you see on the right hand side uh, example so my reg plate should be directly looking at uh, the camera lenses so it shouldn't be more than 30 degree angle vertically or horizontally as well as the pixelization of that reg plate shouldn't be less than 150 pixels um, so in that case, if I do have the right um, lenses of my camera, I'll be able to zoom it in all the way. Like you see, I use all my zoom here for that type of the camera. But if I go back to my other camera, I zoom it in all the way here as well. I focused um, that camera as well. And you see this camera is looking at the reg plate further down our right. And the angle of the view is definitely within the 30 degree angle. So it will pick up every single reg plate properly. There's no issue to recognize the reg plate. The reg plate is always, it's in the field of view of the camera, nice and clear. And even if the car is going with the quiet speed, it will still pick it up because actual reg plate and the lenses are lined up with the chatter within, the, within that 30 degree angle. Uh, so you see, this is the, it's just a long range camera. So in the case with the older type of the cameras, if you ever come across these again, um, you see my zone of interest is that red zone and my snap line, I just have that in the middle here. And you also see there's like a calibration yellow box. This yellow box will allow you to actually go and select where the reg plate is gonna be. 
and the best thing to do for those type of the older type of the cameras is just to maybe park your van on the front of the camera select the exact position where uh, the yellow box is going to be you see there is an example or so how big or small the retreat should be once we have that done you zoom it in zoom out and you just go next you see again we have an example how the snap line should be drawn here as well so we can just draw the snap line all the way through through the zone and they'll pick it up every single wretch plate straight away uh, once we have these enabled so you see now this one here is going to pick it up another car straight away with no issues whatsoever of course every single wretch plate can be viewed uh, directly on the recorder so this is a GUI of the recorder and we just need to go to the AI in AI we go to the motor vehicle and we can select the camera in question or multiple cameras if you like so we're just going to select our camera number three and four these are our uh, NPR cameras and straight away we get the results so you can see the huge difference between the short range and the long range so the short range is obviously positioned it's incorrect um, so in that case if we need to put the camera quite high and start and, and look at the retro in certain distance I would definitely recommend the long range camera so we can get these cameras in two type of the lenses both motorized with the autofocus but it depends where that camera is going to be positioned you need to make sure you order the right equipment um, so you can see the great example of the same cars and how un inaccurate sometimes the retro rec recognition might be if you're not going to use the uh, right lenses of course uh, with these wretch plates well we can we, we can of course search for the particular wretch plate um, as well as we can actually we can also create a database of our wretch plates in our database for in the vehicle um, block list allow list we can just simply keep adding the wretch plates uh, in here so we can just go with whatever wretch plate we like what a customer's name or someone's name to open up the gate for example and the validation periods the only thing we need to change is the end time so for how long is that going to be valid let's see 2027 refresh that page and here you go we have our reg plate in place so from now on this person is on the allow list with its uh, reg plate and this is the validation period so in the case if that person will arrive on site on one of my cameras that is connected to my recorder it will open up the gate automatically so i don't have to do anything else um, i can do manage this reg plate list from the gui from the web browser like you see so i could do it any and anywhere remotely or i can do it locally on machine as well so it could be a security guard on site and they would still have access to this database if they need to amend any of the reg plates so it's really straightforward like you see here uh, and really love this feature that you can add the reg plates manually you don't always have to import and export the reg plates um, there's an option on the, for that as well of course on the bottom of the screen you see i can import and export i can download the template and in the template, uh, I can actually show you the template. So I just created a template here. I can just put the reg plate with the exact validation period as well. And if we're talking about hundreds of um, reg plates, it's of course, it's much easier to create the template and import them this way rather than uh, import them one by one in this database. But it's totally up to you which uh, scenario you, you, you like to use uh, with option is more convenient for you to use so thank you very much guys and i hope um this is gonna be helpful for you and if you have any questions just uh comment below and i will see you next week take care bye